Let us now try and understand some of the syntax that they have used. You will see our friend has used what are called Boolean operators or sometimes they're called logical operators. And there are three of these, not, or, and and. Although in this piece of code, our friend has only used not and or. So let's understand these carefully. So the first condition is not 1 less than or equal to month less than or equal to 12. What does that mean? Well, it means we will first figure out what this condition is. This is either true or false. Either month is between the range 1 to 12 or it's not. And whatever answer we get, true or false, not will flip it. So if this condition evaluated to true, meaning it was a legal month, then not of this condition will be the object false. And then we would be saying if false, which means for legal months, we will not go into this if condition. We will come here and process them. So the only way we can come to this if condition is if the given month is not in this range 1 to 12. If it was outside this range, for example, if month was 0 or month was 13, in either of those cases, this condition would not be true. So this expression would evaluate to false. And not or false is true. And then this if condition would be if true. And so we would go in here and return 0. You can see that this piece of code handles illegal months and correctly returns 0 in those cases. And whenever the month is legal, we proceed to the next condition. But you might find this a little bit hard to read. You might feel that that's a bit of a roundabout way of saying it. And it turns out that you could rewrite this, perhaps in a way that is easier for you to understand. Let me explain how you might try and simplify this expression. So firstly, this expression inside the brackets, 1 less than or equal to month less than or equal to 12, is really checking two conditions. There is 1 less than or equal to month and month less than or equal to 12. Remember, this expression is just shorthand for actually saying these two conditions with the AND operator. So both this yellow highlighted condition needs to be true and this gray highlighted condition needs to be true. Now, how can you simplify an expression that is not of the AND of two conditions? So this expression, not of condition 1 and condition 2, it turns out can be simplified like this. Not of condition 1 or not of condition 2. This is by applying what are called de Morgan's laws. So de Morgan, once again, was a British mathematician and he too had some interesting connections with India. Go read his Wikipedia article to try and see what those connections were. And de Morgan basically said that, well, you can simplify not of condition 1 and condition 2 as this, not of condition 1 or not of condition 2. And you can also con uh, simplify not of condition 1 or condition 2 as not of condition 1 and not of condition 2. So basically, earlier we had the not on the outside and we're pushing the not inwards. When you do that, you have to replace ands with ors, and you have to replace ors with ands. This may be something that you have already seen. If not, go read up about de Morgan's laws. Now, how does this help us? We're talking about not of this condition or not of this condition. So what is the flip or opposite of one less than or equal to month. The opposite of less than or equal is not greater than or equal because equal cannot be in both camps. So if we have one less than or equal to month, the opposite of that must be one is greater than, strictly greater than month. If this condition happened to be one strictly less than month, 
then the opposite of that would have been 1 greater than or equal to month. So once again, the opposite of strictly less than is not strictly greater than. It is greater than or equal. Equal must show up in one of the two cases, either this case or not of this case. So here we are talking about one less than or equal. So the opposite will not have the equal to. It will be one strictly greater than. Similarly, this condition is month less than or equal to. So the opposite of that, think about it. I will show what it is. And I hope you did not get surprised. I hope that is what you were expecting. So this is 1 is greater than month or month is greater than 12. A perhaps easier way of writing it is flip the order here. Month is less than 1 or month is greater than 12. Now you notice in the previous expression I did put brackets. For easy readability, I would encourage you to actually put brackets even here, although it turns out they are not strictly necessary. Why? Well, this expression has multiple operators. It has logical operators, in particular the OR, and it has uh, relational operators, the greater than and the less than. And it turns out the relational operators have higher precedence than logical or Boolean operators. But for readability, I would encourage you to actually put brackets around this. I will never assess you on remembering the order of precedence. It's good to know that the order of precedence is um, fixed by the language, uh, but we should always try and make our code as easy to read for others. So my advice, as I said, is to try and put brackets to make it very obvious what the uh, order of evaluation is. We want to say month is less than 1 or month is greater than 12. And perhaps you find this way of expressing this condition much easier to read. If we had written, if month is less than 1 or month is greater than 12, return 0, perhaps you would have found that much easier to read. Now, this can be a personal choice. Our friend seemed to prefer that. But you should be able to read both your friend's style and perhaps another style that you find easier. So that takes care of this first if condition.